Get ready to become entertained frame by frame because it's the Sergio Show. And here's your stop motion animated host, Sergio Dominguez. Hello and welcome to a very special episode of the Sergio Show. As you can see, I look very different and move very different than my previous episodes. Well, it's because I'm animated in stop motion animation. You see, the animation I use originally for my show is called Digital Cutout Animation. But, as the big animation fan that I am, I would like to see what the show would look like if I made it in a different way. So, for this episode, the Sergio Show is Stop Motion Animated! In case for anyone who doesn't know what stop motion animation is, it is the process of capturing various frames with a camera of figures, such as toys, clay figures, or any other inanimate objects, then those captured frames form a movement of animation. And that's how stop motion animation is defined through my words. So this is me, Sergio, as a crude stop motion puppet made out of Bristol paper, plasticine, markers, tape, and electrical wire given to me by my health teacher in high school after electricians just finished fixing the lights in the ceiling. Now that I got that out of the way, let's get this show started with, uh, with, um, uh, oh, man, look at me, a stop motion animated character, and I don't know what to do to start this show off. Come on, Sergio, what should you do to start the show off? Hmm, wait a minute, this is stop motion animation. I could animate almost any inanimate object I want. That means I could animate toys. Yes, folks, I have toys but I only use them as desk decorations. And sometimes when I get bored, I play with them. But now, I could bring my toys to life. Now that I got some of my toys now. Oh, how about my sculpture of my alien head that I made at my art class at high school? Okay, now that we're all together, let's party! And while we go out and party, why don't you enjoy some random stop motion animation that I've previously made? We had some fun at the party. Okay, bye. What you're probably thinking right now is, Sergio, why do this form of animation? I mean, your animation in your regular show looks so quick and powerful. Aren't you at this point in this scene so exhausted for animating this scene? <sighs> Wait. Stop. <laughs> this is... This is too hard. This is so hard. Well, I have the answer for you. Inspiration. I watch a lot of great TV shows and movies made in stop motion animation. Well, I guess that's all for the Sergio Show Stop Motion Animated Special. I would like to thank the wonderful world that is stop motion animation. Thank you for putting up with this. Well, this is Stop Motion Sergio saying, have an animated day. Sergio Studios. 
It's the Sergio Show. And here's the host of the brand new Sergio Show, Sergio Dominguez. Yes. Perfect. Uh huh. Woohoo. We are back. Yep. Mm hmm. Okay. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Sergio Show. I'm the host with the most, Sergio Dominguez. Wow, we have a great show for you guys. Now this show has a more talk show kind of an atmosphere, such as we actually have backgrounds this time, and there's a place where my guests can sit and talk. Well, we got it all. There's some awesome stuff. We have everything well prepared. Now let's get this show started with a new segment called Intuvention. Intuvention is when the common and memorable props used in cartoons are reinvented and updated by me. Okay, this first invention is for people of certain cats named Tom who can't catch that mouse by using a simple mouse trap. Mostly because that certain mouse is named Jerry and it's too smart to get around that trap. So I invented a new way to get that mouse. We're using a new mouse trap called the Spidey Trap. Now this looks like a simple mouse trap, but see what happens when it gets too close to that toy mouse that I put over there. Boom! That mouse trap has spider powers, and using its arm, it shot out a web and caught that mouse in no time. Yeah. Well, I guess that's all for this episode of the Sergio Show. I hope you enjoyed it. I would like to thank my awesome fake audience. How about it, audience? Do you enjoy this episode? Yeah, you don't exist. Well, I hope you keep watching the rest of my shows. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoy the new format. I know I have. So, I hope to see you in the next episode. This is Sergio Dominguez saying, have an animated day. Sergio Studios. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. But apparently this show started out broke and we keep fixing it of every minute of every episode. Anyway, it's the Sergio Show. Here's the star, sort of, of the Sergio Show, Sergio Dominguez. Yeah, yep, welcome, welcome, welcome. Good to have you all here. Yeah. Anyway, welcome to the Sergio Show, once again, with me, Sergio Dominguez, the host, creator, animator, writer, director, and so on. Anyway, we got a great show for you today. One of our guests is Madeline. Yeah, she's been here a couple of times, you know, in episode 3 and 7. Also, I got a new Intuvention for the segment of Intuventions. Yeah, also, I got a... Uh, Lydia? Lydia Dominguez? Is that really you? Huh. Hey folks, it's my first little sister Lydia Dominguez. So Lydia, my little sissy, how's it going? Good daddy, how about you? I'm fine. So uh, um, Lydia, you look kind of different. What, what, what do you mean different? What I mean is, uh, you have a... Uh, you have a, er, uh, um, uh, boobies? Yeah. So, big deal. I'm 13 years old. I'm supposed to grow boobies at this point. Yeah, I definitely know that. It's just, uh, but I'm, uh. What? You don't like boobs? Well, yeah, no, but, uh, here's the thing. As a horny teenager, I love boobs. I love them. As a mature teenager in front of public, I'm very quiet and hesitant about it. Because I don't want to come off as a horny teenage hormone monkey. 
And finally, as a big brother to a little sister who's gaining boobs in front of his eyes, it's the grossest thing I've ever seen. Hi, this is Sergio with another public service announcement. This is for all the big brothers out there who have little sisters who are going into puberty. Brothers, if your sister just grew boobs, it's the most awkward part of your life, especially when you hit puberty first. Your hormones are pumping around your body, making your mission trying to find some naked boobs, by accident or on purpose or illegally. But all of a sudden, your little sister had a visit with the lovely Lady Lums Fairy, and well, that's just wrong. It's just hard trying to avoid catching your developed mom taking a shower, but now you also gotta avoid your developing little sister taking a shower? It's just uncomfortable. So, the bottom line is, my little sister's boobs are just gross. It's just gross. It's just gross. I had a feeling you would say that, so I brought a little picture that says differently. A picture? What picture? Adelia, what are you talking about? How dare you? How dare you? Why did you squeeze my boobies? <laughs> huh, all that. Well, I was just... No. But Adelia... No! I was just kidding. No! No. First of all, no. Adelia, that you was a live-action photo, okay? We were cartoons, you okay? Really and second of all, that was a misunderstanding. Like Mom wanted both of us in the picture, like and I wasn't that. strong enough to Girl. pick you up, you so that's how it resulted to that picture, okay? okay? Okay, I see how it is. Well, Adelia, we've both reached both sides of the situation coin, huh? One side to do by accident, and you thinking that I did it on purpose. Well, Adelia... I guess you should go. Walk away now. Unless you have a topic that we can both agree on. Well, I guess not. Well, shirt, big brother, I guess this is goodbye for now. Yeah? I guess. Ugh, oh, you squeeze my boobs. <laughs> oh, do the uh, gosh darn it. <laughs> Ah, uh, little sisters, they're so unbearable. The toughest job of being a big brother is putting up with sisters like her. But on the bright side, I get to put up with the cuteness of my next guest. She's back for a third time. Here she is, Madeline Dominguez. Yay. Thanks, Mad Sergio. Not a problem, cutie. So, Madeline, how's it going? Have you made any friends? Yep. How many? Three. Any boys you'd like in school? No, Shadow, they're gross. I know, I know. I'm just kidding. But if I do find out, I will hunt that guy down, cut him up, put him in the microwave, and eat those chunks with mayonnaise. But that's just me, you know, making cruel torture jokes for the audience. So, Madeline, I heard that you made some drawings of me. Is that it? Huh? Is it? Is it it? Yeah? Yes. I like your show. So I make drawing like you. Well, that's just the sweetest thing. I have a few of your artwork, and I'm going to show it to the audience right now. Okay, here's one that looks good. Here's another one that looks nice. And here's the last one. Oh my god! Madeline, how could you put up a cute baby picture of yourself instead of your artwork, huh? I never did anything! Yeah, I know you didn't. I put that up there to trick the audience. Anyway, before we go, I have one more thing to do. It's for the segment of in tune Ventions! I'm going to show you how I got the cartoons from the episode 6 segment of Surgy Tunes to come to life. Introducing the Toon Boom Drawinginator! All you have to do is put a drawing into this scanner, in this case one of Alan's drawings shown earlier, then press the To Life button. Wait three seconds. 
And ta-da! The drawing turned into an animatable character. Say hi, Malin's drawing of me. <laughs> Hey Madeline, take a look at this. It's your drawing come to life. So, how does it look? Roger, it's cool! Yes, indeed, Madeline. Yes, indeed. Anyway, thanks for watching the 13th episode of The Sergio Show. I would like to thank Lydia, Madeline, and me drawing, and for you for coming here. This is Sergio Dominguez saying, have an animated day. Have an animated day, everybody. <laughs>
Lydia, stop tickling me. It's so torturous. That was a fake one. He takes so long. Lydia, I cannot hiccup, and there's no way you can make me. For me. So yeah, bye. Oh great, just great. My stupid sister came in and wasted so much time. From now on, I'm in control of this show, and nothing stupid is going to interrupt this show. Now, let's get to our segment called. We now interrupt the boring part of the Sergio show with a slideshow of weird things. We'll start off with a picture of a huge skin tech on the back of a knee from a cell phone. <laughs> now the same skin tech, but inside a jaw after an operation from removing it. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah. Now back to your originally scheduled web video. And that's how we can solve the economy problem. You saw the slideshow, didn't ya? Uh, now I got like a minute or less left. Aw, oh, come on! I wasn't supposed to show you that unless I was running out of ideas for this episode. You know what? Whatever. I don't care about this episode. This was a big waste of time. Stupid timer. Well, that was the Sergio Show. I'm Sergio Dominguez saying, have an animated day. Sergio Studios. Are you ready for the greatest web video of all time? Well, too bad. It's not this one. Because it's the Sergio Show. And here's your host, Sergio Dominguez? Huh? What, huh? What, what, what? Hey, 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 hey. Olivia. Get out of my desk, and let me do my show. No, okay. Elidia, just take the laptop and go somewhere else. You go somewhere else. Okay. Okay, fine then. Fine. Ugh. Huh. Ugh. I'm so frustrated. So for this episode, I'm going to show you a clip of a brief battle of these two little characters that are supposed to represent two different social medias. The whitish one is supposed to represent the video sharing website and the greenish one is supposed to represent the social media sharing website, uh, I guess. Uh, these darn editing compromises. Anyway, enjoy. It's the ultimate battle you've been waiting for. The fight between evil and eviler. You guess which is which. This is Website Smackdown. So, you think you're better than me? Actually, no. Yeah, I don't think you're better than me either. Yeah. Yeah, I'm bored, so, uh, yeah. No. Taste the fury of my special roundhouse kick in the face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oof, oof, oof. Huh. Kick, huh? Well, let's see if you can handle my speed kick. Yeah, yeah. Oof, oof. 
That's it. I've had it. Time to bring out the biggest gun of all. Oh yeah? Watch that power. I summon the power of a billion views. Okay, enough, enough, enough. That's enough Rick rolling. Okay, fight's over. The video sharing website won. Well, I guess that's all for whatever the heck this show is. This is Sergio Dominguez saying, Have an animated day. Sergio Studios. Gosh, I'm so late. Okay, quickly read the script. Oh, here it is. All right, here it goes. It's the Sergio Show. Here's your host, Sergio Dominguez. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. To the Sergio Show. I'm Sergio Dominguez, the host, of course. Let's get the show started with Intune Ventions. Introducing the Gummy Tune, a gummy candy shaped like a cartoon. A gummy cartoon? Hasn't it been done before? Uh, well, yeah. But this one is special, because when you open the package like so, it comes to life. You see? He's alive, and he's looking so gummy. Yeah, it does. Hey, Serge, big bro, can I see it? What? What do you mean, see it? You're seeing it right now, unless you want to see it with your hands. <gasps> I know what you're trying to do. You want to eat my gummy tune? No, no, don't say anything. I know you well, Olivia. Every time I have something brand new in my hands that is especially for me, you end up using it first. Ooh, but not for long, because it will be me. I will eat it. I'm going to make you watch. Starting now. Mmm. Uh, it tastes so cartoony. The orangey flavor of a gummy candy with the feeling of eating a cartoon. Go. <laughs> now that was a tasty invention. Anyway, hey, where did you go? Eh. Anyway, well. Let's get to the part of the show where I talk to a special guest. He hasn't been on this show for five episodes. He's here to promote a cartoon special. Here he is. Please welcome Juan Perez. It's great to be back. I like what you've done with your new set. It looks like a real animation talk show studio. Anyhow, how's it going? It's going fantastic. 
Anyway, I know if you haven't been here for a while, and I know why. It's because you have your own animated project. Tell me about it. Okay, glad you mentioned it. I've been gone for a while because I've been working on my own cartoon special called The Juan Perez Show. Catchy title, isn't it? Anyway, it's about me and my dark, painful, agonizing struggles of being an uncle of three nephews and one niece. Well, that's fantastic. Also, I've heard from my resources that this cartoon took almost two years to make. Now, why is that? Oh, about that, well, it's because my co-writer slash director is such a fat, lazy tub of lard who spends way too much time watching cartoons and eating junk food. He keeps pushing the production date further and further ahead. He's such a slow and unbright producer. Uh, Juan? Yeah, Serge? The, that was me. Uh, I was a co-writer, director, and producer. Oh. Uh, well, this is kind of awkward. Sorry, Serge. Sorry, I didn't know. That's okay, Juan. That's okay. Well, look at the time. Well, Juan, it's been fun. Well, uh, I guess I'll see you later. See you later, Serge. Well, that's all for the 16th episode of The Sergio Show. I'm Sergio Dominguez, saying have an animated day. Sergio Studios. Money can't buy happiness. Puh. Yeah, right. That is so 2007. Anyway, it's the Sergio Show. Here's your host, Sergio Dominguez. Well, hello everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Sergio Show. I'm Sergio Dominguez, and I'm just happy to say that for this episode of The Sergio Show, I'm going to talk about the various products and merchandise that I want for The Sergio Show to happen. Now, if you're a leader of any merchandising corporation, and you're watching this, and I know you are, please call me so we can make a money marketing collaboration. Now, let's start with toys. Now folks, I love toys. Since I was a kid, I loved toys. When I was young, I would take my sister's dolls, play with them for five minutes, and then set them on fire. Uh, I guess that's why she probably hates me. But anyway, I have something better. I present you the Sergio Show Sergio Dominguez action figure. Ta-da! Look. It's built to the replica of the cartoon me. It's opposable in arms and legs, and it can talk. It has three sayings. Just press the button on the back and listen. Do you feel the urge of the surge? Hehehehe. <laughs> cool. Next saying. Let's get to our next segment. And the third saying. Saying number three. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I don't know what to say. Hmm. Well, it's a prototype. I'll let the investors handle it. But there's more. There's also accessories that came with this action figure. You heard of a dollhouse? Well, here's the Sergio Show set. Made scaled down to accommodate this awesome toy. 
I've also made action figure versions of the supporting characters of the show. First off, my evil little sister, Lydia Dominguez. Here it is, looking so evil. It also has three different lines, such as... Boobies? Uh, oh, uh, what? It's not supposed to say that. It's supposed to say, meh, I'm a Lydia. I'm a pile of stinky poopy pants. Okay, what else does it say? How dare you? How dare you? Why did you squeeze my boobies? Uh oh. What else? I'm gonna sing a song, okay? Oh god. Oh man, how do you turn it off? No way. I don't want your. Come on, darn it, stupid thing. No. No. Okay, this toy is dead. But here's another one, my best buddy Juan. Let's take a listen of what Juan has to say. Hey sir, just me, Juan. Nice. Second one. Yo, 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 yo. Indeed. And lastly. You're just crazy in the head. Um, okay. Well, that's all for toys. Next, we'll go to clothing. Many celebrities have their own clothing line, and I'm going to be one of them. Like other internet superstars, they put their face on a t-shirt and sell them online or on Hot Topic. So, here is my own line of Sergio Show t-shirts. Each t-shirt has a picture, line, or both of a funny or memorable moment of the Sergio show. Like this one, the fartmobile. Remember that? From episode number two. <laughs> or how about homework destroyed? From the scene where I destroy homework in a dream. That was memorable. Well, how about funny lines like this? It's the Sergio Show! <laughs> or, have an animated day. Or, how about, I'm gonna give you a smack em. There are t-shirts from other characters, like uh, Lydia. Uh, um, uh, like Juan. You see, Juan has a t-shirt about him. Look. Uh, hey Serge. And, ooh, this one is good. If you have any problems about your life, you can always follow the message on this shirt. What would Juan do? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's kind of it for the t-shirt collection. For the grand finale, here's a slideshow of random stuff that can be merchandised by me. Man, that was a lot of possible cartoon merchandise right there. Well, in order for all that to happen, I would need a pretty big success to happen here. So please, my loyal fan base, help me make this show possible and I'll make merchandise out of it. Please. Well, that's all for this episode of The Sergio Show. See you next time. This is Sergio Dominguez saying have an animated day. Sergio Studios. Oh, uh, well, let's get this job started. Well, time to start voice recording. 
Now, where's my script? Do, 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 do. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Come on, come on. Uh, oh. oh, oh, here it is. Okay, here's the script. Okay, thank goodness. Oh, I thought it was uh, somewhere else. I have it, it was under my seat in this whole time. Oh, that looks a bit crumbled up actually, but I can still read it out. Ooh, okay. Now let me read this and get the show started. <coughs> you know what? I won't start off the show yet. Instead, I'll talk to you about what's going on right now. I'll get to intro of the show. I'll introduce the show. Uh, oh, oh, I can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. I just can't. And do you want to know why? Huh? Well, do you? No, you don't, but I'm going to tell you anyway. Well, I know you don't care. You probably just want to watch some stupid video. <sighs> well, for anyone left watching this, it's just that I've been introducing this show for years and not a single penny in my pocket. That's right, I'm not making money off this show. I'm so broke and all I do is just introduce. I thought I would get like some cash, but I'm just making absolutely no money on this show. Mostly because this show hasn't made any money since it premiered. But it's just, it's really holding me back from making me do bigger and better things. I could have introduced real talk shows with a real entertainment purpose. I'm not that picky, I mean, I can voice so many things, I have such a booming voice. I always wanted to be an announcer on game shows. <sighs> but, but this show was such a disaster. Oh my gosh, I don't know what this show is even about. And I don't think the creator of this show knows either. It looks like a talk show, but no celebrities appeared on it. Some of his friends appear, but they're not celebrities. Like any real celebrities would like to appear on this show. Uh. But then all of a sudden the show can become a sitcom? A sketch comedy? Or even those squeaky clean educational shows? Ugh. This kid doesn't know when to stop. This guy seems like he watches too much TV and internet videos. This cartoon kid is out of his mind. Oh man, this dude is insane. Ugh. No wonder his views aren't even worthy to be in the toilet. And not even a good toilet at that. More like those public bathrooms on those rest areas when you go across country by car. You know what I'm talking about. Ugh. Now, we're halfway into the show, from ending, or so do I... Uh, ugh, I don't know the timing. Do I have it right? And, uh, I still won't introduce the show. Mm -mm. You know what, I'm, I'm still not introducing the show yet. Ugh, all this talking is really messing up my voice. I gotta keep it grand and intrusive. You know, still won't introduce the show. <laughs> this episode is not turning out really good. I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. It'll be meaningless. This episode is actually meaningless. This. Uh... Welp. Let me tell you a story about my life. It all started back in the early 90s when I. Hey! Stop! talking and start with the show already oh give me a break everyone knows what this is and who you are or if they did if the show had some actual views oh man that is such a low blow well I apologize for all the stuff that I said too you know I was getting bored 
And my, you know, introductions always happen so shortly. You know, I was just bored. Huh. You know what? I'm ready. I'll introduce you, okay? Let's get it over with. Alright? Alright. Sounds like a plan. Okay. And it's the Sergio Show! And here's your host, Sergio Dominguez! Well, finally, it's about time. Thank you, announcer of the Sergio Show. Thank you. Well, welcome to the Sergio Show. I'm Sergio Dominguez, and let's get this show started with... Sergio Studios. Happy Halloween, because it's the Sergio Show. Halloween special. <laughs> and here's your host, who is a ghost, Sergio Dominguez. Ooh, and welcome to the Halloween special of the Sergio Show. I'm Sergio Dominguez. Who is dressed up as a ghost. Anyway, we have a pretty good Halloween special show for you tonight. So, let's get this show started with... Yeah! Let's get this party started, yeah! Hey, Juan, welcome to the show's Halloween special. Say, Juan, tell the audience what you're dressed up as. Glad you asked. I'm just dressed up as how I feel on the inside whenever my nephews and niece do something horribly horrific to me. Such as mess up my room, burn all my own comic books just to light up their m marshmallows, spend all my hard-earned money on job breakers! Well, that's entertaining. Okay, Juan, it's been fun. Now go run along and go trick or treat with your annoying nephews. Okay, Serge. Happy Halloween. See you later. Happy Halloween to you too, Juan. Now, Halloween has always been a creative holiday, and when it comes to decorations, that's the holiday that takes the spooky creative cake. Since Halloween is such a cash cow, I'm going to show you some of my prototypes of my own type of Halloween decorations. <laughs> First decoration is this wonderful little skull lamp. Aww, look how cute it is. Aww. But what happens when you walk under it? Hmm? Aha, surprise! A creep! The skeleton drops down from above. The second one is ooh candy bowls. Candy bowls have always been a fun simple decoration for Halloween and I've got a couple of my own right here. This first one is more messy than fun when you try to get close to the candy and get too close to the bowl it Whoa! It sprays out zombie vomit! <laughs> I'm kidding. It's fake. The next candy bowl I have is a lot less gross than the previous one. Once again, you put your hand a little bit too close and... Hehehe! <laughs> a monster head looking bowl tries to bite you! <laughs> but don't worry, it's safe. The teeth have like foam padding aligned so your fingers won't get hurt. And that's kind of it for Halloween decorations. For now... Lastly, I'm gonna tell you a spooky story. Well, it's not really that spooky, but it's more funny. 
it's actually more of a um, uh, you know what I'll tell you the story and you'll decide it was a dark and scary night and I was waiting to go to the bathroom I needed to take a serious peeing and my sister was in there for two hours then as the door slowly opens Lydia comes out of the restroom with a look as if she saw a ghost not a funny goofy ghost but a scary ghost not too scary finally said me but my sister blocked my way and warned me that once you open the toilet you'll be sorry for it and since she lied to me for a billion other reasons I decided to go in anyway I should have listened to her when I went in because all I saw was pure darkness and a red glowing toilet in desperate need to pee I slowly touched the toilet lid I had only two options pee in my good pants or face my fate under the seat so I had no choice but to open the lid then nothing happened that is until I looked inside the toilet that was it that was the end of the story some say he was sucked into the seventh layer of hell some say he survived and killed his sister some others even say he was sucked into hell and made a deal with the devil to let him go and in return he'll make an animated show to spread the word of evil either way no matter what happens no matter what it is the lesson you should learn is that a Lydia is a stinky poopy pants and you should never listen to her or else and that's the end of my story my scary story and that's the end of the Sergio show Halloween special this is the ghost of Sergio Dominguez saying have an animated day <laughs> Sergio Studios. When the going gets tough, the tough get going. Unfortunately, it's not this show. It's the Sergio Show. And here he is, the host with the least, Sergio Dominguez. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Welcome everyone, welcome everyone, welcome to the Sergio Show. I'm here, yup, I'm the host of the Sergio Show, Sergio the Cartoonist Man Dominguez. Well, I'm very excited, and you want to know why I'm excited? Huh, you want to know why? It's because this is the 20th episode of the Sergio Show, yes! <sighs> Yeah, I would like to give thanks to all of my loving audience who watched the show since the first episode. Yup, all three of my remaining fans of the show. <laughs> oh, wow. I am so exhausted. <sighs> like I said, I just want to celebrate and live my life. Anyway, so yeah. As you can see, I too have an American dream that is especially animated, and I won't rest until that dream will be achieved. Oh, it seems I have a speck on my glasses. Let me just... Okay, okay, got it. 
almost. Uh huh. Mm, got it. Ah, nice and clear. Oh, in case if you just found out or cared, this is the first time I took off my glasses ever on the Sergio show. Mm, yep. I just did it to show you that I'm not those cartoon characters that never takes off their glasses. I'm those cartoon characters that sometimes takes off his glasses. I also got a special video message from the Sergio Show's very own Juan Perez. So here he is, the executive producer of the Sergio Show, Juan Perez video message. Hey Serge, it's me, Juan. Wow, that was a fun thank you video message. Thanks Juan. And don't forget, audience, as usual, to comment, subscribe, and all that other stuff. Please, the attention really helps. It really does. Well, I guess that's all for the 20th episode of The Sergio Show. This is Sergio Dominguez saying, have an animated day. Sergio Studios.